Hello everybody, Hoj the Haggy here, hoping the start of the year has been great to all of you and wishing the rest ends up being amazing too. I'm here today to tell you all about one minor change that I'll be making to my Patreon, but most importantly, a major change to my YouTube channel, specifically regarding my tutorials, frequency of uploads and hopefully those two changes will lead to me bringing back some old favorite series that has been on hiatus for quite a while. So. Let's get straight to the point, shall we? I've been thinking about revamping the content of my videos by primarily ceasing the upload of tutorial videos here on YouTube. Not only to try and make other videos that would generate more views and have those types of videos be consistently uploaded without overworking myself, but primarily because I've come to realize that tutorial videos, they take some time. It's not a whole lot of it, like they're easy to make, but the time it takes for me to record the footage, edit, render the videos and create thumbnails when added up is a good amount of time which could have been used for 1. Making other tutorials 2. Creating other videos and 3. Creating other mods But I don't want to stop making tutorials I love recreating characters from the manga, real players, teams, all of it It's quite fun for me to try and to get them right or at least as close as they can be. And in some cases, it's just shit. God damn, this bitch ugly. <coughs> Plus, it also feels good to know my tutorials help all of you guys save time by doing most of the hard work for you, so you only have to copy them. So, here's what I came up with. From now on, all of my tutorials aren't going to be videos anymore and won't be uploaded to YouTube. Instead, all of them will now be a collection of prints from the game, which saves me quite some time since there will be minimal editing, but I can't afford to upload them to YouTube because 1. It would crowd my community tab, 2. Community tab only allows 5 images per post, and 3. The images have to be 4x4 resolution, and reasons 2 and 3 defeats the point of why I'm doing this change in the first place which is saving time, because it would require a good amount of editing to fit those criteria. Which means that, from now on, all my tutorials will be uploaded on my Patreon. And don't worry, you won't need to pay to access them. I'll make sure they're available, even to those who aren't patrons. In fact, there is a join free option for you to follow my Patreon page, and not miss any news. I also had the idea of slowly collecting some gameplay footage of the tutorials in-game, and at the end of each month, I make one quick video showcasing gameplay of all the creations I had done so far, so you guys aren't left with no reference for them, while hopefully the video generates more views than the tutorials would otherwise. And that is the major change for 2024 going forward, which most definitely will impact the frequency of which I upload to the channel. I hope this is for the better, because like I said, Hopefully this will give me more free time to work on other projects so that maybe, again, maybe I can bring back series like the European Super League and the one I know you guys miss the most, Road to Qatar. But wait, 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 wait. Let's not get too excited here. You need to bear in mind, this is not an immediate promise, okay? I'm not guaranteeing anything because one, of all the mods I already have planned on doing, Plus, having to make the videos for each of them, since there's a lot of kits to be made until I'm done with all of them. After all, I am currently working on World Cup Kit Pack 2, which you can clearly see right here on this beautiful gameplay we're having right now. Tier 3 on Patreon is already enjoying these babies, and soon Tier 2 will get access to them too. So, what are you waiting for? Just join the team! Plus, the second reason why Road to Qatar is not a guarantee in the near future is that I had to factory reset my PC a while ago, which made me lose the save I had with all the teams and characters of Road to Qatar. So now I'll also have to create them all over again from scratch, and it will take a while to accomplish that, especially since I don't have formulas for the characters. I'll have to eyeball them from old videos and try to make them look the same again. So like I said, I'm doing this change so I actually have a chance of bringing this series back. Because with the way things were, with all those tutorial videos in the way, there was zero room for me to be able to do them. 
and now to the last subject which I want to talk about which is one change for my patreon but it will also affect those who are not part of it I am now open to receiving commissions for uniform mods from anybody so even if you're not a patreon you'll still be able to commission kids from me I will tell you the prices in a bit before that I just want to clarify that although being a patron doesn't give you exclusivity to commissions anymore from now on if you are a patron you will get discounts on your commissions based on what tier you're currently subscribed to so here's the price baseline for those who are not patrons for simpler uniforms like the Singapore kit mod for example since there isn't many details that I need to take into account and it's quite easy to make the price will be one US dollar now for uniforms like this Indonesian kit which you can clearly see there are a lot of intricacies and those little details makes it way harder to work with and get them right for these more complicated ones the price will be double to two US dollars now as you can see here patrons have a discount for each tier for tier 1 you get 10% discount on your commissions which means simple kits will cost 90 cents of a dollar and complex kits will cost one dollar and eighty cents for tier 2 you get 25 percent discount on your commissions so simple kits will cost 75 cents of a dollar and complex kits will cost one dollar and fifty and lastly for tier 3 you get 50 percent discount on your commissions simple kits will cost 50 cents of a dollar complex kits will cost one dollar there are no limits on how many commissions anybody can make. I'll take as much as I feasibly can without it affecting how long I'll be able to give the mod you ask for. So, that's it. These are the changes I am making for this year, at least for now. I don't think they are too drastic and hopefully they set this channel in the right direction because although the channel is not stagnant, it is growing very slowly. And I think this might help start speeding things up, even if it's just a little. Now, before I go, I just want to leave a special thanks to last year's patrons who have supported me, making this whole journey possible. Daniel Nishida, M. Nafaldila, Logan, Dylan, Dimas, Elif, and Jose Vargas. You guys have been amazing to me. Words simply are not enough to describe how grateful I am for everything you guys did and keep on doing for me, okay? Love you all. And this is it then. I love you guys. And hope to see you all next time.